All right, so we have a 100 watt slug um, in we're on the 100 watt scale. Not a lot of power there, buddy. So we're gonna get the other meter that will measure lower amounts. So I've always found this one to be pretty accurate, so we'll try it out. So we're on the, um, we're on the 15 watt scale. It's like about six watts, maybe seven. Try the other scale. Um, we're on that, so let's pause this and change the frequency. Alright, we're on 14652. We're on the 15 watt scale. Same. Okay. 1, 4, 7, zero, zero. No difference, really. Okay. See if we how we change the band on this. This is not like the old ones. We go. Uh, let's see. Wait, we'll try that. Let's see what it does. Five watts. Okay. Well, we'll go to top of the band. Four fifty, probably. The hell? So it says it, it thinks that's out of band, I guess. All right, so 450 is out of band for this, and um, we're under five watts. But still, I mean, like uh, if you look at it, that's pretty close to four. We can switch to the other scale and see if it does anything differently. So I think each of those uh, marks on the top scale would be two, four, six, eight, and ten. So we got four, under four. And just to show that we have no reflected. No reflected. Old Radio Shack dummy load. Really good one. I love them. So, yeah, we tried to test it with this, and it's just, well, the 100 watt scale is just too much. And you're just not going to get enough resolution. So, I don't remember what the advertise is. I think, like they said, eight. So we're seeing about five. So... That's what you expect out of all of these. Uh, I saw other videos where uh, Jason tested one of these, and um, it was it said it was 18 watts or something crazy, and it was like four or five, just like this one. So, you know, I don't know why they can't just be honest with the numbers. So anyway, you'll get about four or five watts out of this on both bands. Thanks for watching the video, guys.